this video, we're going to learn how to make off-grid, battery-backed-up, solar photovoltaic power systems. When sunlight in the form of photons hits those layers, it dislodges electrons, which are collected. One square meter of captured sunlight has a potential of over 2,000 watts of energy in it. The last major component is the inverter, and this is what takes the DC electricity from the battery bank. And modified sine wave, also called modified square wave inverters, are less expensive, more efficient. You may or may not have net metering in your jurisdiction. So let's review Chapter 3. There are two types of systems, grid tie and battery based. Connections are easy. They're marked line and neutral. Line is your plus in and out and neutral is your ground in and out. Ohm's law is often given in this circular chart and it boils down to three formulas which we generally make. To make this work, we just have to imagine that the hose is the wire and the water pressure is the voltage. And you'll see that it has different ranges. This one has areas of 2, 2, 20, 200, and 1,000. And I'm going to use the clamp-on meter to show you how easy it is to use. What's great about the clamp-on meter is, and when you start, you put a little bit of solder right on the contact point, right where that tip is touching the work. On the top left is our photovoltaic array. It has all of the panels wired together, and sometimes you use a combiner box right after that. It is the power coming in from the solar panels and it goes down and is hooked to one of the two 90 amp breakers down here. This is the disconnect breaker that turns power off coming in from the panels and also gives it some protection being it's a circuit breaker. And then squeeze on the hygrometer bulb so that it sucks up the acid fully. You've got to be sure that you cycle them. Do not leave them sitting there discharged. Go ahead and put your funnel in. Be sure there is no dirt getting into the opening whatsoever and put small amounts of distilled water in well, now we're going to go into the electronics lab here and show you the exact output of a modified sine wave inverter and a pure sine wave inverter. The sine wave inverter puts out a nice smooth waveform changing from plus to minus through that center zero volt point. And here's the MC tool. You're going to need one of these to actually take connectors off. You actually insert it right into the side of the connector and then that will allow you to release the connectors. One of the types you're going to see is this, where you push the wire into the hole and then it has a screw head on the top or the side where you put the screwdriver in. Now if we had a 4,000 watt inverter, a large commercial one, we might be using about 315 amp breakers as our... Now notice inside of the case that there are holes for screwing this box onto your backboard. The overall efficiency of the charge controller is slightly reduced that said, it's also very intelligent and simple to use because it automatically detects the voltage of your battery bank and it can handle a wide range of incoming voltages from the panels as long as the voltage coming in from the panels is higher than the battery bank that it's charging. That's how the MPPT works. Batteries add up the same as a photovoltaic panel. They used to call photovoltaic panels batteries when they first made them. Between these two posts, I'm going positive to negative because I'm putting these in series. I cut that exactly. You can go ahead and write down the dimensions you're going to need for these pieces. The rear wall, the rear piece, the front. The combiner box is used to combine the wires from your array sets. So say, Now let's look at how the panels actually physically connect with the other components in the system. From the lowest point on December 21st to the highest point on June 21st, well, and then take my level and line it up facing south. Then I take my protractor and put it on top and I can look right at the markings on the protractor and find that low position for the winter, December 21st. That's my During the first week of November, latter part of that week, adjust it to your latitude plus about 12 degrees. That's now let's take a look at the frame so far that we've set up for our four panel array. You can see that we basically have a rectangle and we have some cross members to rigidify it. 